Welcome back, dude! <laughs> dude, ready, go! Hello everyone, Free the Printies here. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. On the last episode, well, we made it back to Toad Town after putting P Tubba Blubba down once and for all, so that's pretty nice. And now, as per usual, in between the chapters here, we got some extra stuff to take care of. So, yep, we're gonna go to the sewer for first, and uh, now that we have those super boots, we can actually proceed a little bit further in. So that's always pretty nice. Got some new enemies here as well, it would look like. So we're gonna have Goombario go ahead and use Tattle here. On the Dark Koopa. This is a Dark Koopa! Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in Toad Town tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. HP 8, attacks 3, defense 2. Be careful be extra careful when you see them grin because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should use jump attacks. Well, just like normal Koopa Troopas, essentially. And yeah, you see that guy up front? He just jumped up, and now he's got that smirk. Oh, both of them got a smirk on their face. That means if you don't uh, take care of them quickly, they'll use that dizzy attack. And, well, we don't want to be uh, put into the state of dizziness because it costs us a turn. So, as long as we keep them down on the ground, this shouldn't be too bad. So, go ahead and finish this guy off. That takes care of him. Now, only one more guy left to go here, so this shouldn't be too bad with Goombario here. He's going to get up again, but that's alright. We'll be able to knock him down with Mario and then finish him off with Goombario. So. Yep, you'll notice we're doing a little bit extra damage now with those super boots, so that's always pretty nifty. But yep, that takes care of those guys. Easy enough. Alright, let's see, what else do we got to deal with in this room? The door's closed behind us, so obviously we gotta take care of everybody. Oop. Aha, easy enough. And well, we got a power block for our troubles. Not that it's important. Oop. And that guy's taken care of as well. Oh, hey, button. Well, that just fell right out of the sky. Alright, we'll go ahead and smash that, and that uh, opens up a pipe here, which gives us access back to uh, Lady Bo's mansion, so that'll come in handy in a little bit here. And since we're in the neighborhood, let's go ahead and heal up. Why not? And then let's proceed deeper into the uh, sewer here. Yeah, we're going for a little bit of length on this episode here. We're talking like a 30-minute one, so I don't feel... I don't... Uh, I wouldn't feel bad if you guys decided to skip this one, because it's mostly side questing, so... Yeah. It is what it is, I suppose. Now, somewhere around here, if you push these blocks around, there should be... Maybe it's all the way up here. Should be, uh, invisible blocks around these parts somewhere. That I seem to be having, uh, trouble finding. Ah, gotta love it. Let's see... I know they're around here somewhere. Oh, right there. Aha! There we go. Once you find one, it's pretty easy to find the rest, so... Well, it doesn't look like there's any more. Because, actually, yeah, I don't think we need these blocks. I think we should be able to just fly across with Paracarry. I don't know why I'm too worried about it. I'm pretty sure you could have flown across without having to activate all three blocks, but... Well, I had to do it here. Plus, you get a free coin for each box that you hit, so I mean, you can't complain. Not that we can really do anything up there right now. But that's all right. We'll uh, unveil that for later. So let's see. What do we got going on here? What's up with the long pause? Oh, well, there we go. I was wondering what was going on with the pause there. I guess I was just contemplating my next moves. But anyways, we should be done down there for now. So let's see. You know, unfortunately, it's really all we can do in there. So... What we're going to do now is go around to areas that we've already been to and actually go ahead and flip hidden panels. So, yeah, if you come all the way back to the Be Goombario, please move. If you come all the way back to the uh, area where we fell at the beginning, you can get a star piece there. So, yeah. We're going to be doing uh, some star piece running around, some Chuck Quizmo a little bit later, all sorts of goodies. So, yeah, we'll be able to get most of it done in this episode so that we'll be able to continue to the next chapter right away, so... Now we just gotta backtrack through here. This was that area that Goompa took us through. It's a tutorial. But right over here, if you smack the floor panel here, you'll get another star piece. Haha. -ha. Perfect. Alright, easy enough. Let's see. 
trying to think. Okay, yeah, I remember where the next star piece is. Yeah, I'm trying to do this stuff now because I'd rather get it all done as soon as possible here than to actually sit around and you know, do it all at the end. That way we don't have to do like a really long episode of us trucking back. Oh, hey, Chuck Quizmo's here. And I'm never going to say no to uh, Chuck Quizmo quiz. So... I'll do as many of these as I can before our big montage at the end there. So let's see, what do you got for us this time? When you want Taste Tita who loves cooking to make lemon candy, what do you give her besides lemon? Well, that's easy, that's a cake mix. Not that we've made it yet. But, that takes care of that. And we get another star piece from Chuck Quizmo. Perfect. Thank you. I will take that. And that's 31 questions answered so far, so yeah, we're pretty much on par for getting this done. But, now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, I want to say if we go to the right here, we should be able to get another star piece at the end of this course, right around where the Goomba King's castle is, right? Oh, well, maybe not. I hm. guess I changed my mind about going all the way there. Oh, uh, okay. I know what I probably did. I bet you I just go to Toad Town. And do it from that direction. Because I do believe that there is a star piece you can get from Goomba King's castle doing the same thing. But, we're, since we're in the neighborhood of these pipes here, we're going to go ahead and head to uh, Koopa Village here. Because we should be able to uh, procure a star piece nearby here as well. So let's see, if you come all the way back here... I want to say, was it above here by these three little thingamajiggers, whatever you can call these guys? Yeah, right there. There's a panel there. I'm going to flip that and get a star piece. Aha. Perfect. Alright, let's see. Now, I'm pretty sure if we go this way... Oop. I'm going to avoid those Koopa Troopas. going to try to avoid all the enemies in the area here. They're not really worth getting the experience. Nope. Sorry, unfortunately he had to go. Didn't mean to jump on him, so... Well, it's a little too late for that now. Well, get around this guy. Hey, leave me alone, you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoa, that was close. Man, I got some fancy dodging skills there. Now, let's see. What we do is we go up this way. Oh, that's right. We uh, decide to uh, take a little break there. And then accidentally run into that guy. Perfect. Now well, I'm a bit sloppy on this one, I can tell ya. I forgot there was a cut there because I ended up having a uh, phone call that, that happened, so I ended up stopping, but I didn't cut it all the way out, it seems. I cut out the phone in the background, so at least that's a start. But, well, well, what can I say? I was going through quite a lot making this LP, so... You know, not to mention the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of doing the post-commentary, but if you hit the panel there, you can grab that star piece and get out of here before he gets you. But now, losing all my footage from the original playthrough of this really, uh, really kind of set me back in the uh, motivation department. And, well, what can you do? I mean, you lose over 30 episodes of footage because the audio becomes completely corrupted and unusable. Unusable. Well, oh, it's a pretty big setback. And then, of course, I missed this one, so I better grab this one here. There's another star piece under that panel there. Perfect. But, yeah. um, Where was I? Oh, that's right. Now, just explaining the audio issue. That's eh, okay. I know these pauses were me debating where I was supposed to go next. So, let's go ahead and hop in the pipe over here and see where we go next. I'm assuming we're going to the Dry Dry Outpost because there's a couple of star pieces we can get in this area as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I decided to do this, but you can't do this right now. There's supposed to be like a little hint from someone later on. And Goombardo keeps running around the tree. That was kind of funny. You're supposed to be able to run around that red tree, that red palm tree for... Uh, Something that you'll get later. Oh, hey, Chuck Quizmo. Perfect. Go ahead and knock another quiz out of the way. Why not? All right, let's see. What do we got here? Who among the following lives in Forever Forest? Well, that's easy. That would be Oakley. Clefts do not live in the forest there, and neither does Junior Troopa. Actually, he hates it, considering the last time we encountered him there. That's 32 questions answered correctly, so we're doing pretty good there. 
Alright, let's see. Now, I want to say if we head up this way, there should be a star piece on the roof. So, I want to say, what's it, right around, ah, there it is, perfect, right here. Goombario, I guess, didn't want to come upstairs here. Alright, well, that's fine. Oh, there he is. Running to catch up, perfect. Alright, let's see. Now, if we head out to the dry, dry desert, I do believe we can hit a couple of star pieces out here. At least one, maybe? I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure there's one by the stone cactus. And then, actually, if I haven't done it already, I'm wondering if I have or not. We'll see in a minute here. You'll see what I mean. If I do what I think I'm going to do. As confusing as that sounds, but right around this area here, there's another panel there. Grab ourselves another star piece. Easy enough, so yeah, we're really racking up the star pieces, so that's pretty good. But now if we come all the way over to the far left here, and this is what I was talking about, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, right up here, Colorado's camp used to be. If you hit that tree now that his tent is gone, we get a letter to Goompa. So, yeah, make sure you come back and do that. That can trip you up if you're not careful. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember if I got that letter right away when I first played this a long time ago. Because you'd never really think to go back there and, like, just hit that random tree. I mean, you couldn't reach it when his tent was in the way, so, I mean, I guess you never really would think to do that. But that's how they try to trick you there, I guess. Now we're going to backtrack through uh, Mount Rugged a little bit because there is another star piece in the area here as well that we can hit under a panel. I mean, I probably could have cut a lot of this backtracking out, but I really wanted to make sure people saw which, like, you know, which path to take. I don't want to just warp there and be like, hey, this specific spot right here. But yeah, it's right up there in the top corner. I got first struck by that guy, though he threw a rock at me. Dang fool. And hey, Cooper's here. Hey, Cooper, long time no see. How'd you get here? Probably because I was using him in battle. But yeah, I think that's really all we need to do here at uh, Mount Rugged now, so... That takes care of that. Business as usual. We should be able to head back to Toad Town now. And, uh, pick up a couple more things there as well. Oop, get stuck on the uh, fence post there, absolutely. Go ahead and save our game, too. Now we don't have to run around like madmen. Go ahead and hitch a ride back on the train back to Toad Town. I mean, there's not really any fast travel, so... Got to kind of go around and do these sort of things. But that's okay. Not too terrible. Plus, you can skip the cutscene, so... That's even better. Alright, back in Toad Town. Hooray! Let's see. Now that we're back in Toad Town here, what are we going to accomplish? Well, for starters, we're going to go ahead and pull Paracarry out because we got some letters to deliver. And I do believe there's another panel right here. Haha! -ha. Nice try, game. I'll take that star piece. What? Shy Guy? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll take care of those Shy Guys eventually. Well, I'll do the best I can. But yeah, we got a letter to this kid, Dane T, part of the uh, chain letter side quest. So we're going to go ahead and hand him this letter here. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, the invitation from the Haunted Mansion. Perfect. You guys going to go check it out? I mean, the ghosts aren't that scary. I mean, it is close to Halloween after all. Haunted Mansion does sound like a good time. Yoshi kid and the Yoshi village. Well, we can't do that for a while. It's going to be a little bit before we can deliver that letter. So, we're done with the chain mail side quest for now. But, since we're still in the neighborhood here, we got a couple more things we can do really quick. For starters, we're running up this way. Oh boy, what's going on? Calculator? Oh, nuts. Another shy guy just ran off with a calculator, it seems. Oh boy, these guys are dancing around the flowers. Hey, you guys, get off of there. That's rude. Well, it was easy enough. Yeah, no problem. Happy I can help. Just doing my duty, you know? Alright, now we're gonna head up to the uh, post office here and check out what's going on here. Thief. Oh no, another shy guy? 
Just ran off with the mail bag. Well, we won't be checking the mail anytime soon. And Merlin, what's going on here? Oh boy. Yeah, some shenanigans are afoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, this is the... If I would have talked to Merlin here, I'm supposed to go around the red palm tree in the desert. So, we're probably gonna have to backtrack a bit and do that. Alright, well, we're not gonna worry about that now. We got a couple more things to take care of here, so... Let's see... Is there a... Aha! Secret panel right here. Perfect. Easy enough. Another star piece for the collection. What? Oh, nuts. Shy guys are stealing dictionaries now. Oh, Shy Guy took over your shop. Alright, well, let's go see what's going on here. Hello? Yeah, get out of here, you. Oh, no, poor me. Yeah, poor you indeed. Get out of here, man. Well, I do the best I can. Now, oh, my prize is that I get to buy stuff again. Great. Kind of hoping for something a little bit better, but, you know, well, whatever. I guess I'll take what I can get at this point. But anyways, like I was saying, instead of walking all the way down that one, like, uh long pathway back by Goomba Village to get to the Goomba Kings. Little area here. We can just, uh, come up through here, and I believe it's right up here. Aha! Yes. A star piece. And that's it for all the star pieces over in that area. So. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Now let's see. Got a few more things to do. But, uh, yeah, we're about halfway through already, the side quests and whatnot we can do between chapters here. Oh, what's going on? Luigi, you're getting attacked by shy guys here? Well, if you wait up here, the shy guy jumps right there and you can whack him and ha-ha! Get out of here, you. Hello, Luigi. Oh, well, I mean, I kind of wish you would go on the adventure with us, but you, you never want to, so... But actually, if you remember way back then, Koopa Coot wanted an autograph from Luigi here, and we couldn't get to him last time because he was under the floorboards in the house. But, now that he's outside and we can actually talk to him, we can get Luigi's autograph for Koopa Coot. So we'll be able to finish up some of those Koopa Coot favors as well. So, now let's go ahead and get out of here. Now, I could have shown something off in Luigi's house over there, but we're going to wait till later. Because you'll remember those floorboards where you saw the music notes popping up from a few episodes back or whatever. Yeah, well, that's a secret we can get into. But uh, we're going to hold off on that real quick, and then I'm uh, going to take a little break, and I'll be right back. There we are. Aha! Nice little cut there. Okay, let's see. Now we've got Koopa Coot favors we can take care of. We've got... I got a, I believe I got a letter for this guy here. Yeah, Feist T, he's the one. Here's your letter, sir. Well, yeah, basically we're doing mailman duty right now, so it'll be a little bit. You know, bootler. Oh, God. He'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty scary, but I get a star piece, so, I mean, have fun sleeping at night, dude. But, anyways, we're gonna hop back into the, uh, good old sewer here real quick, and, uh, then we're gonna head on over to the left here. Pop up in here. And then head up through the door here, because if you remember, we got a letter for Goompa. So, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, drop this letter off. Yeah, he's doing pretty good so far. But I do have a letter for you, Goompa. Perhaps a star piece is in order? Aha! Oh boy, it's a letter from Koopa Coot. What do you say, a backstabbing Koopa? Huh. Their relationship is an interesting one. But anyways, that's taken care of there. So let's go ahead and hop back in the pipe here. And now, head back over to the Dry Dry Outpost. Because if you remember correctly, we have to run around this tree a few times, so just run, go ahead and run around it a little bit here. Alright, and there you go, this guy will uh, stop and talk to us. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to make you dizzy. Hmm, there's a house with a whirling roof. Spin jump three times and something good will happen. Huh, well that whirling roof sounds like the... 
the same roof that uh, Merlin lives in, that house there. So I guess if we go inside his house and spin jump three times, something good will happen? Maybe? Hmm. Well, first we're going to head on down this way, though. We're going to head up through here. And uh, go inside the mansion really quick. Got to take a quick uh, detour real fast here. And actually, now that we've cleared out all that stuff, and actually after you had Bo join your team, you actually do have access to the uh, shop here in the mansion. And that's exactly where we're going. Because we need to purchase a certain item down here for a Koopa Koot favor later, and that would be a life shroom. It's kind of expensive at 50 coins. Oh, well, carrying too much apparently. Let's see, what do we got here that we can get rid of? Or we can hit the buy command again. Absolutely. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, hit sell there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get rid of that POW block. We don't really be needing that. And, uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, I think we're good. I think maybe store a few things. Yeah, let's go ahead and store some things. I'm going to go ahead and put that Vulture away for a later day. And the Repel Gel that I'm not going to use anytime soon. And uh, now we'll go ahead and buy our uh, Life Shroom here. Perfect. Alright, now let's get out of here. I guess we're gonna bring Cooper out. I don't know why. I started to get kind of attached to Cooper on this playthrough. I don't really use him that much. So, I mean, he get, definitely gets more use than Bombette. And I still believe to this day Bo is one of our more powerful party members, but. That's just my opinion. I mean, everybody has their specific partners that they prefer to use. Go ahead and hit that, even though I don't need it, because I always do. I mean, there are just certain things that you kind of do when you're playing these games where it's just, like, out of habit at that point, you know? Yeah, if you're wondering what's to the right there, there's water that we can't cross, so that's why I don't even bother going over there. But, now we're going to go ahead and pop into Koopa Koot's place over here, I do believe. So, yep, I just went down to check and see if um, Chuck Quizmo was there, but here's that autographed Koopa Koop. Yeah, well, I do the best I can, and we get a coin. Hooray! So what favor do you have for us today? Dropped his wallet on the road. Well, he couldn't have gone far, so... I went to the store. So, it's gotta be somewhere between... Koopa Koot's house and the store, which it's right over here in this bush. Haha. -ha. An empty wallet. So he must have spent all his coins. I mean, I guess if it's empty, why is he freaking out so much? Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it's important to him. Some kind of sentimental value. Well, I do the best I can, sir. And I get another coin. Haha. -ha. Now, what favor do you have this time? Tasty Tonic craving? Perfect. Yeah, if you guys remember, earlier I bought a Tasty Tonic at one of the shops in Toad Town, so... Yeah, I'm pretty psychic there. I guess I knew exactly what you were going to need. And I also knew you'd give me another coin. So let's see, what do we got going on now? Let's see... Oh, okay. You want an autograph from... I believe it was, what, Murder Lovely? Is that the one that's on Shooting Star Summit? That's going to be a bit of a... An annoyance, but I guess we'll see what we can do. He's got a thing for autographs, apparently. So that's always fun. But anyways, we're gonna hop on back up here. That crazy music playing now that Shy Guys are in town. Let's go ahead and uh, run up this way, because if you guys remember from the Dry Dry Outpost there, if we come in here and spin jump three times... Uh, no, sir. Actually, I came in here to butt bounce in your house. So one, and a two, and a three. And haha, -ha, a secret badge. And it's quick change badge, nonetheless. That's actually a really good badge. We're going to want to probably put that badge on as soon as we can. Because that will enable us to change our party members without wasting a turn. So, we're not going to worry about it right now because we really won't be doing any combat-related activities in this episode. So... I don't know why I butt bounced there, but okay. Or super jumped, as they call it. But I do know along the way here that we will be able to encounter a couple more uh, star pieces that are hidden inside panels. So 
Yeah, right there's one. So there we go. This actually works out perfectly because we have to uh, come up here to get that autograph for Koopa Coot anyways. So. But before we go down there, if we come up through here, there should be, yep, right there that I'm standing on. Aha! Star piece. Perfect. So, yep, another star piece down the drain here. Now we're going to go through here because I do believe there's one more panel that we can hit. Yep, right there. Perfect. That'll give us another star piece for our trouble. And let's go ahead and head on inside here and see what we can do. First, let's go open this chest because if you remember, the princess put a couple of badges in here for us. We're going to go ahead and grab those. Not that we'll ever really use these badges, but, you know, got to get them for the collection. Well, no, I'm not here to get my fortune, right? I'm here to get an autograph. Uh-huh. Well, can I... Now, on one condition, of course, there's always a catch. Now I gotta go all the way back to Dry Dry Outpost to get a crystal ball for her in order to exchange that for the uh, autograph. That's just great. So not only do I end up doing Koopa Koot a favor, but I end up doing her a favor as well. So I guess that's why Mario's the uh, fetch quest master here. Matter of fact, that might not be a bad episode title. Fetch quest master. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty much what we've been doing this whole episode, running back and forth. Collecting star pieces and then giving letters to people and doing favors for them, so... Questionable favors have not been, you know... Had to be done yet, so that's good. I'd prefer to keep it that way. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump back into the sewer here and... Warp on over to the Dry Dry Outpost and... Grab that crystal ball. Yeah, see, I told you guys back in, when we opened up these pipes that they would be, like, amazing to have. Oh, hey, Chuck Wismo. Perfect. Wow, you're really saving us on time. Might not have to include too much of a big montage in this episode, thankfully. So what do we got for the quiz today? What are boos exactly? Well, that's easy. I mean, I guess they could be sheets. We don't know. Heck, we don't even really know if they're ghosts. Who knows what happens when you die, right? It's a mystery, but I do know when I get a question right, I get a star piece. So that's 33 questions out of 64, so, yeah. Not too shabby. So let's come on over this way. And come back here. And we can get a crystal ball. Yep. I am here for the crystal ball, please. So you're Merlovely, right? No, oh, no, you're Merly. The other one's Merlovely. I get them kind of mixed up every now and then. But yeah, while we're in the neighborhood... I'm going to go ahead and pay the 50 coins here to get the special course. This will just activate random effects that could possibly happen in battles, like it will double your coins or experience or sometimes increase the amount of damage you do. And it lasts for quite a long time, so I do suggest getting this as early as you possibly can. And It does run out over time, but you know, 50 coins is a pretty cheap price to, to pay in order to reactivate the spell. The other two options, the 5 and 20 coin, courses aren't really worth it, so I don't really suggest doing those. So let's go ahead and take this crystal ball back to, uh, our lovely back at the, uh, at her house by the Star Hill place, and then hopefully get that autograph for Koopa Koot, and call it a day on his favors. That'd be great. How about you, Cooper? You having fun running around like this? I mean, I don't know about you, but I sure wish that we, uh, had a way to travel around a little bit faster. Not that that's much of an option, but who knows? Maybe someday we'll be able to move around just a little bit faster. I guess we could put on Quick Spin. I believe that's a badge. It lets us spin a little bit faster, but, well, we're already going pretty quick as is. So, as you can see, we're already back there. That's what I like about this game is, like, everything is, like, super connected to where you can just kind of get around easy. Like, yeah, in real time, this took a lot longer, but, you know. Not too bad, I guess. Here's a crystal ball. I don't know why you need it when you got that pyramid thing in the middle of your table, but we do get the autograph for our troubles, so. Not gonna trade our star pieces yet. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get all the star pieces first, and then I go up there and trade. That way I can get multiple badges as I go. And really, there's only like one or two badges up there that I actually want to use. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've got some pretty good badges up there, but 
Uh, it's just not worth the trouble right now. And a lot of the ones that I want to use for my build at the end of the game are pretty expensive to equip. But anyways, that takes care of that. So now I do believe we're going to go back to Koopa Koot here and turn in that autograph and see if he's got any more favors for us. I'm not 100% sure if he does or not, but we're going to see. And after we get done with Koopa Koot's favors, we'll probably do the quick Chuck Quizmo montage, get that over with. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time, essentially. Just fast forward it, and if you want to read the questions, go ahead and pause. The only time I'm really going to show the questions are if, you know, like what we've been doing, or he pops up randomly. So, here you go. What do I get for a reward for doing this? A special gift? Three star pieces. Aha. Oh, and hey, another favor, of course. What do you got this time? Let's see. Reading the Toad Town News. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we could always do that. Yeah, what he wants us to do is he wants us to go back into town, and he wants us to go to the bulletin board and read the front of the bulletin board. You're supposed to read both the front and the back of the bulletin board, because on the back you have the, like... Um, I'm trying to think of a word, like, like the underworld kind of news where you got some random person scribbling stuff on the back. And it's like underground news, I guess. Yeah, of course, Shy Guy Invasion's being talked about right now. So yeah, those guys are breaking in and stealing things from people. And then if you come to the back here, how many Koopa Troopas have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful. Oh, great. Well, probably not a good one to read as uh, Cooper's following me around, but that's okay. We'll pretend he didn't hear that. I wonder how many Koopa Troopas I have stomped out over the years, though. That's pretty bad when you think about it. But yeah, if you, you just gotta make sure that you read both sides of that board, because if you just read one, it won't uh, trigger the completion for the uh, favor for Koopa Koot, so... Yeah, I've had that happen before, where it's like, oh, I went into town, I read the bulletin board, but I forgot to read the back of the bulletin board. So, kind of cost, uh, cost me a lot of time there. But, hello. Yeah, this is what's going on. Shy guys are taking over. The world is in chaos, and I've stomped out a bunch of Koopas, so... Yep, he's hip with the times. And as a reward, I get another coin. Perfect. He's also got another favor. That's great. What else do you want now? Oh, the life shroom. Perfect. Well, you're in luck, sir, because I just so happen to have a life shroom that I preemptively bought. So here you go. I mean, not the kind of item I want to give away, but, well, we get another coin for that. Oh, okay. A gold credit. And also, we get a gold credit. So, that's pretty nifty. He's got another favor for us. That's just great. Let's see. Oh, the scrumptious nutty cake. Well, unfortunately, I'm a fool, and I did not preemptively make a nutty cake. And if you recall, the frying pan was stolen by the Shy Guys, so... I'm gonna have to wait until I get that frying pan back in order to make a nutty cake for Koopa Koot. So our favors are going to end there for the moment. But now, we're going to go ahead and do the Chuck Quizmo montage, so here we go, everybody. Speed up now, and fast forward! But yep, we are back to doing this again, so... But luckily, we don't have to do it for very long this time. I did cut out the music, because nobody wants to hear all that jibber-jabber in the background there. Kind of like what happened last time, but... Yeah, there's not nearly as much to do here, so actually, we'll be back very shortly, so... How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? I hope you're enjoying the series, because this should be the last one. And there you go. Aha. See? Not too bad. Told you. I think he capped out at 37 there. Is as high as we can go for this right now. So. Takes care of uh, Chuck Quizmo there. So let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do. I think it might be almost about time to start advancing the plot here. And yeah. Oh. Mario! Oh, great, Twink. Mario, Mario, good to see you. We found out the deleted Tarba Blarber. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh, yes, I got new information about the Honorable Star Spirits who are imprisoned. Have you heard of Shy Guy's toy box? Seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held there. But where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea. 
Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. But take your time. I'm having fun with her. Well, that was just weird. But yeah, who knows where the Shy Guy's toy box is. It's not really much information. I mean, I know where Shy Guy's toy box is. But before we even decide to go to Shy Guy's toy box, right around this area here should be our next panel. There we go. And we get another star piece. And we'll go ahead and save our game, because... I do believe that's it, and it's time to advance the plot now, so let's go ahead and see if we can find Shy Guy's toy box here. And if you come on over into this room over here, well, it's empty in here. Nothing in here. But where is Shy Guy's toy box? Find out on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. See you later, Prinny Squad. Have a good day. Hello, Shy Guy.